Tyagarajan is a unique women entrepreneur who manages businesses in IT infrastructure construction and hospitality. Highly educated and a scion of one of the most respected and legendary Nagartar families, our star Rukmini is possessed with unique entrepreneurial skills with love for hard work, consistency and the never give up attitude. In a male dominated entrepreneurial world, overcoming challenges has always been easy for Rukmini. She chooses to work hard, much like her father Tyagarajan Chatiyar and mother Unnamalai Achi. Whenever Rukmini walks into her office, she is surrounded by people with love for work. It was from my father I inherited the skills. I take care of the administration and my father takes care of finance. she says rukmini's paternal grandmother belongs to the legendary karumuthu tyagarajan family and paternal grandfather belongs to the ama family my grandfather and father had a huge capacity of envision businesses i have over time learnt how to plan and execute large projects and negotiate deals she quips if her family background gives her the entrepreneurial identity it is also rukmini's ability to adapt that gives the clear edge born and raised in chennai rukmini's first step as an entrepreneur began in 2003 when she was 21 with a hand loan of rupees 10000 she started buying handmade paper from north india and supplied it to art students in chennai it was very profitable and i was able to pay back my investors with a first lot she says rukmini then decided to gain some experience before venturing further she worked as an artist with vastrakala exports an embroidery house between 2004 and 2005 vastrakala was into high fashion embroidery for designers in europe it was fun creative and educational i understood and experienced the office politics work pressure and delivering a product on time having learned many life lessons i decided to pursue my interest in textiles she says in 2005 to 2007 she started an organic textile business producing organic tensil fabric for mitsubishi this was when the idea about organic fabric was nascent and all the big mills had not taken it very seriously as the organic industry consolidated rukmi purchased a garment unit in 2007 It was a tremendous learning experience. We were able to produce garments for diesel within 6 months of starting the unit. We did job work for Ambattur Clothing and exported garments to Australia, New Zealand and Denmark. Job work helped us pay our bills and exports gave us the profit. I learned how to manage people, read their behavior, understand their capabilities and the need for quick decision making, says Rukmini. And soon She started focusing on exports but the economy had its way in 2008 the recession made her plan to downsize her textile business but this was when the doors in the family business opened for Rukmini I joined a family business in 2008 to manage heritage madurai the first thing that interested me about our business was the scale and hence the scope she gradually then grew from managing the hotel to managing all the purchase and planning for the ITZs it involved the purchase of equipment systems services and their maintenance combined with commercial negotiation technical analysis and documentation then in 2011 came the bigger challenge by way of managing the construction and implementation of projects though the company IG3 Infra Limited began in 2004 under her father it was in 2009 rukmini joined ig3 is one of the leading companies in chennai which rents out commercial it space now big clients like ford and atos have available space and it is rukmini who manages it ig3 infra builds infrastructure with services from floor space to the air conditioning required for an it company but compared to the competitors in the industry like ramanujam it park rmz tidal park dlf and sp info city the sprawling 36 lakh square feet building at ig3's chennai 1 campus stands out chennai 1 has a built up area of around 36 lakh square feet 
and is being leased out. We bought the land in 2004 and 10 lakh square feet was constructed between 2006 to 2007 and another 20 lakh square feet in 2014. This is a continuous development. The first building was fully leased in 2007 and second building was leased in 2014. In fact, Rukmini's success comes from her father, a man who always looks forward. His plans are always long-term, says Rukmini. In fact, the IG3's Chennai 1 building has adapted a new technology for energy saving. Technologies such as thermal energy storage for air conditioning air, HDDGs for consistent power and synchronized HD and LT panels for seamless power transmission. Being environment conscious, Rukmini and her father have adopted various new technologies to improve their buildings. Rukmini's brother Shanmugam is interested in automation, robotics and engineering design. He works with Tesla Motors in USA and plans to return to India to join the family business. Blessed with a pleasing demeanor and cool confidence, she contributes to her father's business by managing IT Zess and the luxury heritage Madurai Hotel at the home of Goddess Meenakshi Madurai. Blending modernity with legacy, she cuts a dynamic figure and has changed the nature of business by expanding. The values imbibed and imparted come by honing one's faculties through study and reflection. Even as Rukmini chooses to devote herself to business, she is a thorough professional first. Her diligent attention to duties and consideration and respect for others, including her employees, set her apart. IBCN wishes her all the very best.